Hey everyone, it's Jamie, and by request, here is another video for the Zappos analysis, this time for uh, question A3. So this question tells you to create scatter plots that show the relationship between the overall rating and each of the other variables. Um, you don't have to do the percent five stars or the model or brand. So, and then there's a couple of instructions. The first one is to make sure that the overall rating is on the y-axis and that the other variable is on the x-axis. Then I want you to include a trend line, equation, and r squared on each plot and discuss your findings in a text box. And then I want you to take a look at the, two, at the r squared of the different graphs and tell me which of the variables that we have do you think is the strongest predictor of an overall rating for a woman's road running shoe, or in the case that I'm doing right now, a men's road running shoe. All right, that's what we're gonna do. To make these though, I work like a box plot and I work in the data. So I'm gonna go to my tab two, where I've made a little note for us. So to make effective scatter plots, we have to get our axes right. The dependent variable goes on the y-axis. That's the thing that you think is impacted. So I think that you know, the comfort rating of a shoe might impact the overall rating, or how stylish someone thinks a shoe is, is gonna impact how they rate the shoe overall. Also, there's a possibility that the price affects how well the shoe is received on the market. Higher price shoes might um, do better because they are, you know, made out of better quality materials or they use higher construction, right? So the thing that I think is the outcome, how good a shoe is, that's my overall satisfaction, and that goes on the Y variable. Always include a title, always label both axes. Then, so that the scatter plot makes sense, um, in this case, we want a trend line and the R squared value um, and the equation for that trend line. I'll show you how to put those in. And then we need to make it a little bit clear looking because once you add that equation and the R squared to the, to the chart, it can be crowded, so I'll show you a couple of tweaks. I'm also gonna add that phrase, a trend line, an equation, and an R squared value. So I'm gonna show you in this video how to make two graphs. We're gonna do, we're gonna start with comfort versus overall rating, and then we're gonna do price versus overall rating. So to make a scatter plot, you get to all of your data. And so I'm gonna start with comfort rating to overall rating first. So I'm going to put my, cell, my cursor, or I'm going to select on the title of average comfort rating, then I'm going to hold down command shift down arrow, or control shift down arrow if you're on a PC. Then I'm going to hold down command, or control if you're on a PC. I'm going to click the lowest comfort rating, then I'm going to hit shift up arrow. Now both columns of data are highlighted, and then from insert, I'll choose the scatter plot to make the graph. I want an XY scatter chart, and I want one with no lines connecting. And here I get the chart of my dreams. <laughs> so on the X axis, I can see that I've got two decimal places, right? And that corresponds directly to the comfort rating. And here on the Y axis, I have the overall rating, and I can tell that by the way those are formatted. So that worked. Then I'm just gonna format my chart. I want axis titles on both the primary and vertical. And then I'm gonna label them. On the Y axis, I have overall rating. On the X, X axis, I have comfort rating. I really don't need to see that this is 3.00. And so in the interest of tidying, I'm going to click on it once, and then I'm going to right-click, and I'll format the axis. Under Format Axis, you have a lot of choices, but what we're looking for is down here in Number. I'll close this axis options just for a moment, but under Number, I want zero decimal places. There we go. I'll close this. Give it a title. Scatter plot of comfort rating and overall rating 
I'll just call it that. Then the trend line. To make it to insert a trend line, you click on any one of the dots and then some, but not all light up, that's fine. Then you right click and then you select add trend line. When you do that, a box is gonna pop up. And we want more than just the line through the data. We also wanna know what the parameters of that line is. What's the slope, what's the intercept? So to do that, we want the equation. And then we want to know how predictive comfort rating is of overall rating. And the R squared, that goodness of fit measure, will basically tell us what percentage of our overall rating can be explained by the comfort rating. Then I'm gonna drag this out of the way where I can see it. Close up this box. And I don't think that I need these axis major grid lines, so I'm gonna click on them I clicked on the horizontal, one of the horizontal ones and then the dots came up at the end of both sides to let you know that it's been selected. Then I hit backspace and I'm gonna click a vertical axis major grid line and then hit backspace and that's my chart. So what, so that's pretty good. I don't think I really need to do another one but I told you I would, so I will. I'll just do it quickly. I'm going to do price and overall rating. Hold down command, click the bottom one, shift up, insert, scatter plot, the one with no lines. Slide it into place. Add the chart elements for the axis titles. and then label them while making sure that my dependent variable of overall rating is on the y-axis and that price is on the x-axis. And I'm gonna label it. Scatter plot of price and overall rating. Excellent. Then I'm going to left click on a dot, then I'm going to right click until my box comes up, and then I'm going to add a trend line. I'm going to display the equation. I'm going to display the R squared. And I'm going to drag them into the same place on this chart that I put the one on the other chart. Put them in the same place. That makes it easier to read. Then I'm going to remove the axis grid lines for both the vertical grid lines and the horizontal grid lines. And then I'm going to call my chart good. So you can see that in both of these, I've got the outcome variable, the overall rating on the y-axis. And then on the x-axis, I have the independent variables, comfort rating and price. I've got titles, I've got equations, I've got R squared. Um, and I've got rid of those lines so that we can see everything. All right, happy charting. And in the next video, we'll talk a little bit more about what the heck these mean.